BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 Chemistry Reactions of Metals. Now there are three reactions we need to know about. The first one I actually talked quite a bit about in the last video and that's when a metal reacts with oxygen. Uh, but then there's metal plus oxygen, metal plus water, metal plus dilute, dilute acid. Make sure you learn metal plus oxygen goes to metal oxide. Metal plus water, metal hydroxide plus hydrogen. And then metal plus dilute acid, salt plus hydrogen. First one, metal plus oxygen goes to metal oxide. So burning a piece of magnesium in air will give you magnesium oxide. Aluminium. Uh, is quite a reactive metal. It forms a layer on the outside of aluminium oxide, which actually helps to protect the metal. That's why aluminium doesn't corrode very quickly in air. Things like lithium, sodium, potassium do. They, they look very dull on the outside because they tarnish. They react with oxygen and Lithium oxide is kind of a, a greyish colour as opposed to being a shiny metal. Things like silver, your silver cutlery, after years and years it will start tarnishing as well because it's reacting with oxygen. Uh, metal plus water goes to metal hydroxide plus hydrogen. Hopefully you'll have demonstrated to you putting group 1 metals in water lithium, sodium, potassium, and as you put them in there, they become more and more reactive. Lithium, then sodium is more reactive, then potassium is more reactive. Uh, I don't think your teacher's gonna demonstrate rubidium and cesium to you, or francium. But uh, reactive metals in group one uh, and group two react with water directly, and you end up with an alkaline solution because it's a metal hydroxide and it dissolves in water and you get an alkaline solution. Less reactive metals will react with water, uh, but slowly uh, and well, iron. Iron will react with water slowly uh, and things go rusty. This is a reactivity series which you should be familiar with. Uh, the more reactive metals will react with dilute acid. Uh, the less reactive metals won't. One thing to notice now on this series, do you notice that um, hydrogen is there as well? So metal plus acid goes to salt plus hydrogen. What do I mean by a salt? A salt is something that you get when an acid is neutralized. That's a salt. And the salt that you get will depend on the metal and it will depend on the acid. For example, calcium plus sulfuric acid will give you calcium sulfate plus hydrogen. And what's actually happening is that the metal is displacing the hydrogen because that metal calcium is more reactive than hydrogen, it will displace it, it will take its place. I'm going to talk a more about that in the next video, displacement reactions. You should be able to figure these out, sodium plus hydrochloric acid, what will that give? Calcium plus nitric acid, potassium plus sulfuric acid, what will you get? Well, Hydrochloric acid gives you a chloride, uh, nitric acid gives you a nitrate, and sulfuric acid gives you a sulfate. So sodium chloride plus hydrogen, calcium nitrate plus hydrogen, potassium sulfate plus hydrogen. Reactivity, a little trend in reactivity we can talk about. Uh, a metal is more reactive if it's easier to take away its outer electrons. So can you explain these patterns? Why is sodium more reactive than lithium? Why is potassium more reactive than sodium? It's easier to take away its electron. Why? 
because it's further away from the nucleus and so the attraction of the nucleus is weaker. Uh, the other shells will shield this attraction as well. It's easier to take away that electron. Going from left to right, it becomes less reactive because there are more electrons to take away. So you need more energy to take them away. So these are the trends in reactivity that you should know, particularly looking at the metals at the moment. Here are some questions for you to have a go at. Uh, complete these word equations. Uh, a piece of sodium is dropped into a trough of water. What would you observe? Write a balanced equation for the reaction. And if you put universal indicator in the trough, what color would it go and why?